outside taking a look at things. How's it going? Good morning. This is devastating. We can't even get into downtown Midland. We're about two minutes away on Isabella Street. But look at this. The road is starting to bubble. Water is starting to bubble out of the cracks that were existing on the road as this entire road is just covered in these flooded waters. And this is exactly why residents in Midland County have been ordered to evacuate and what officials are calling life threatening. I mean, look at this house, the front door. This is past the handle of where you would open that front door, almost reaching the numbers on the address there for this home. So this home is almost completely are absolutely devastating as I'm just about uh, knee deep as we go far back towards the mailboxes. Won't go much back further because we don't know exactly what is in the water or what's under the water. We want to be as safe as we can be, but this is definitely a life-threatening situation. Now, earlier today, or earlier Tuesday, rather, officials began warning anyone nearby these dams that they were expected to fail. Governor's, Governor Whitmer has already declared a state of emergency here in Midland, with water expected to be up to nine feet in downtown by today. This all started happening last night around 7. Excessive water caused both the Edenville and Sanford dams to be breached, causing flooding in several communities. More than 100 soldiers are being called in to help, and the Red Cross has been activated with hospitals preparing for incoming patients. Now they have marine, air, and land vehicles who will all be helping to assist residents evacuate the rising waters. This is serious and it is time for people to take action to keep themselves safe and to evacuate. We still need thousands of people to take this action. If you have a relative or a friend somewhere else in the state that you can go and stay with, please go to their homes. If you don't, go to one of the many shelters that have been set up in and around Midland County. Shelter now, this water absolutely flooding this entire street, and this is only one of several areas that are being impacted. But take a look at this. I mean, I'm going so far in. There's debris all in the road. You can see that dish. I'm assuming that was maybe on someone's roof, on someone's porch. That is now uh, floating away on that plank of wood, and there's plenty of debris here throughout. And this water is going nowhere anytime soon. Or we're actually seeing more and more water come on the roadways since when we've been here. So we're going to start to move back a little bit on Isabella Street in this hour because uh, the water is only gaining on us. But there are local schools here in Midland and other shelters that are opening up to help these residents in their time of need for this relief as they were ordered to evacuate. And we have a full list of those shelters on our Fox 17 News app and fox17online.com. So we'll stay up to date with this all throughout the morning. Until then, we're live just outside of downtown Midland. I'm Kenneth Monticelli, Fox 17 News.